Joined by Dr. Fadi Ismail right now, a research fellow for the International Institute for Counterterrorism, joining us from the north of Israel. Uh, Fadi, uh, I have to just say, I mean, I was very angered by these reports coming out of Janine here about this young high schooler. Uh, taken off life support, grabbed out of the hospital. I mean, thousands of Palestinians a year are coming to Israeli hospitals, facing no threat of assault, kidnap, anything, uh, coming and getting top level treatment. Here's this one kid in the hospital fighting for his life overnight, and this is what happens. What's the reaction in the Druze community specifically this morning? Calling for retribution? I mean, where does this go? First of all, uh, good afternoon. Thank you for having me. Uh, let me tell you something. Now I'm going to my other side, being um, uh, a, a physician myself, um, a medical officer, an IDF medical officer. Um, not only civilians, we also treated uh, people who have been shooting at us a second ago. I did it in person, not once and not twice. Um, there is a sanctity to medical treatment that is recognized by everyone in the world, even at the worst times, even in the middle of World War II and the worst uh, and the worst battles, even in the big wars between Israel and its neighbors and the most horrible wars, there has always been a sanctity to the issue of, of the wounded. And uh, here you have, as I said, uh, a teenager, a 17-year-old high schooler that is in hospital, which again should be sacred grounds from that standpoint. And you have people coming from the surrounding um, uh, 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 suburbs, which are basically uh, refugee camps, not even from Jenin itself. Yeah. And uh, they storm the hospital, uh, being uh, fully armed, uh, scare everybody completely at the hospital, even my own uh, counterparts, uh, you know, in the hospital, the doctors and nurses yeah. and so on, and steal a patient from his bed. By the way, he could have been saved. I mean, right. he was okay. He was right. stable. He was still alive. Right. Uh, who does that? Who does that? Seriously, I'm saying that now. Forget politics. For the, I'm really angry right now. First and foremost, as a human being, then also as an officer, as a, as a medical officer, as a, as a doctor. Who does that stuff? I mean, yeah. who, and what kills me is that you look at their TikTok. You know, they have all these uh, uh, the video clips where they are exalting yeah, that moment as if it's, I don't know, I'm, I'm really angry. No, I, I share your sentiment. Fadi, I'm glad you joined us here. I could keep railing on this one all day. This is outrageous. And of course, it touches on a lot of levels of how, as you mentioned, human decency has been involved, even in the darkest hours here in this conflict. Exactly. Who, who does it? Well, these Palestinian elements. Look, they, they did it in front of his yeah. father. Right. Think about this for right. a second. His father was there. They did it in front of his father. Can you imagine Dr. the situation? Uh, funny smell. The live TV, the break is upon us here. Unfortunately, I have to go. But thank you for joining us on this one, giving some more perspective on it.